Welcome. Today we're going to learn how to integrate Go for Clients with Contact Form 7 specifically to trigger an internal notification via email and an autoresponder via SMS to your lead. It's super easy, but I need to give you a little bit of background on WordPress first. So let's go into that. Um, this is my WordPress dashboard. I created a Gopher test site. That's what I'm going to use, just a, a demo. And I have here the CF7 form that I'm going to use. This is what I'm going to use with you guys for this demo. So right here, you know how it works. You have your plugin. Here's the contact form um, plugin. And when we go here, I already built the forms. I'm sure this is what you've done in the past. So it's going to be super easy for me to show you how to integrate with a webhook. But first, this is what's so important. You must install an extra plugin to allow you to use webhooks with uh, Contact Form 7. And so I just want to mention that that plugin, I'm going to go here to install plugins. It's called CF7 to webhook. So make sure that's already installed and then we can proceed to do the integration. All right, so I'm going back to contact forms. This is the contact form we're gonna work on. This is the layout that I built. Uh, it exactly matches this layout that we're gonna do right here in English. And what you can see, what's interesting, what you can see is that a tab called webhook is now part of it. And that's where we're gonna go. Here it is. And for this, we are going to have to use a webhook URL right here. Make sure that sent to webhook is active, right? And so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna leave it here. Let me go back to go for clients. This is where we're gonna log in. And from the main dashboard, you are going to be able to choose to go to drips. Let me just give it a sec. There you go. You can choose to go via the My Drips uh, section on the toolbar or directly clicking on one of the icons here. I'm going to go to Drips Automations and we're going to choose Forms and Webhooks. Those are the templates we're going to work today. And as I said, today we're going to work on sending an SMS with a notification via email. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this template. We're going to configure it. It starts with a webhook. Fine. The email, they just want me to choose the sender email that's going to send the where the emails are coming from. And for the SMS, let's choose the number that go for clients has provided you for such a purpose. And there you go. This is the drip that's already built for you. This is what's so amazing about go for clients that it, it, it does everything for you. And we're just going to configure that webhook and, and how soon to trigger these notifications. Just one minor thing here. I'm not going to send two SMS. I'm just going to send one. So I'm going to get rid of that extra box right there. Fantastic. All I need to do is click start here to start the process. Webhook has highlighted and we need to go step one. Integrate to the external platform. It says copy the URL for the webhook right here. I'm copying it and all I need to do is go back to that settings in contact form seven to the webhooks part and go ahead and paste it there. Perfect. It's done. Click outside. Make sure you're saving this change. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right. Fantastic. I'm going to go back to go for clients and I'm going to click on the next step, which is test the data and it's waiting for the um, form to send that data over to go for clients and establish that integration. So right now it's not done yet. We have to go to the form and test it out. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. I already have some information. Let's use everything that I have here. Uh, let's say that I need a go for demo and I'm just going to put demo here as well. Fantastic. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and click send. And I'm going to go back to go for. And as you can see very quickly, 
that connection has been established. Uh, let me shut this down for a second. We'll see it in a, in a few minutes. But right now, what I want you to see is that now the status is in green, data received. That just signals that a successful integration has happened. So the next step and last step is the mapping, which means associating the fields from your form with the fields that go for clients requires. And it's pretty, pretty straightforward because what I'm saying is, listen, I need the hashtag name, hashtag in go for, and I'm going to take that from the your name field, for example, which is populating with one. It's using the information that I just submitted in the form to show me if the information is correct. So it's pretty easy to, to uh, finalize that mapping. Your email is coming from here. For example, the mobile number, I don't have it and I need the number. So I can, I can send the SMS, right? So mobile number, I'm gonna choose it from, and as you can see, I don't have a mobile number field. I named that field something else in the form. And so I can test out just by you know trial and error, see which field it is. Like if I choose this one, it's not that one. Or I could go to see data and see where that phone number is. And I can see that the phone number is in a field called 816 so that allows me to come here and say all right there you go that field and there that's the number that i want to pick perfect so this is done the mapping has been done it says go to actions the actions is just the time that is going to take for the webhook to react after filling the form and i have it as soon as i like to leave it as soon as because i for example there's a super important stat that says that um, contacting a lead a day after reduces the probability of that lead becoming a customer by 60 times. And even if you contact them after an hour, it still reduces that probability by seven times. So immediacy is really key. It's what's going to drive those conversions. It's what's going to increase those sales. And uh, I'm going to do it as soon as. But you can change it to seconds, minutes, days, hours, whatever you need in your particular flow. All right. So once that's done, I can go and configure the notification. The notification is that internal alert. I'm going to inter alert my team internally, my marketing guys or my sales guys or my contact center, whoever's in charge of going after the leads. I want to alert them that the lead filled out the form. And in this scenario, I said we were doing it through email. So I'm going to set up the destination email. I'm going to leave my work email there for this. You could also send it via SMS, via voice call. I have plenty of plenty of videos showing how to do it. It's exactly the same process. Check those out. Um, you could even change the design of the email that you want to send. All you have to do is click on templates and choose other templates that match what you need. All right. I'm happy with my choice. So I go back and um, all I need to do now is actually configure the SMS. So I click on SMS and configuration and here is that sms information we've already kind of drafted a sample for you so you can use that and what i can do is i can say for example let's eliminate this whole thing and let's personalize it i want to say hi and i want to use a header i want to use the hashtag name hashtag so that the name pops up and i want to tell them click here for info and what i want to do is i want to include a short link that go for clients so what I'm saying here is include a URL and that URL is going to be replaced by a short link that redirects to, in this scenario, goforclients.com. Make sure it has the HTTPS right there, but there you go. That's it. It's done. That's all we need to do. Perfect. I have my SMS. I have my notification and the webhook configured. All I have to do now is just save it. I'm going to call this the CF um seven with sms drip so i can remember it save and activate it and there it is done it's ready for production so let's test it out what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my form and let's fill it with the information once again all right so i know this information i go for demo and here uh please present demo all right Guys, I'm going to submit this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my mobile screen with you to show you how fast this happens and check it out. I just received an SMS. If I open it up, there it is. Hey, Juan, it's the one below, 406. Hi, Juan, click here for info. And when I click on that link, 
it redirects me to the go for client side just like we wanted to. So imagine the power of immediately reaching out via SMS to your lead. You know, you can close those sales, provide the information, amazing. And now let's also go and check. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my inbox here and you can see that I also received an email. If I'm playing the part now of um, sales, I just received an email that says, hey, you guys have a new lead, go and attack him, right? His name is Juan, this is his email, this is his phone number, he wants a presentation with a demo. Fantastic, now I know what to do. So this is really what's gonna be a game changer for you guys, and it's with contact form, contact form seven integrated to trigger uh, an auto response with SMS and an internal notification via email. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.